Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to World of Warships with Rear Admiral Jingles, and we have an absolute cracker of a battle for you today. This, in the Soviet Tier 10 cruiser, the Petra Pavlovsk, is the JB guy, and this is a Tier 10 airship escort battle on the estuary map, and I think this is the first time I've ever actually shown one of these airship escort games. I know I've done a convoy escort once, but this is, I'm pretty sure, the first airship escort, and it's a very popular game mode. So for the benefit of those of you who have no idea how it works, allow me to explain. It uses a lot of mechanics that were first introduced into the game during the Halloween event many, many years ago, where your team had to escort the Transylvania to an exit point. And the more of the team who were close to the Transylvania, the faster it went. And it's kind of the same thing here, except both teams have an airship that they need to escort to the destination point. And they start off, as you can see, fairly far apart from each other. But then the escort route gets uncomfortably close very, very quickly to the enemy team, who are trying to do exactly the same thing, get their airship to the exit point while preventing you from getting yours there. So you can start off sniping at each other at long range, like this, but before too long, you're going to be in brawling territory. So ships like the Petra Pavlos, which for a cruiser is actually a pretty good brawler, is a useful choice. Also, this is the first time the JB guy has sailed his Petra Pavlos with the new legendary mod for this ship, which increases the gun's accuracy, increases the amount of armor-piercing damage that it does, Oh, friendly submarine just took a hit there. I'm pretty sure those shots were aimed at the JB guy and not the submarine, but that's what you get if you stick too close in a stealthy ship to something that is not a stealthy ship. You can end up taking hits that were aimed not at you, so don't do that. Anyway, the downside of the Petro's legendary mod, aside from the increased accuracy and increased arm piercing damage, is that it lowers the amount of consumables that you can carry on the ship by one. And honestly, I think that's a fairly good price to pay. Enemy destroyer's just been spotted, the Delny. He immediately becomes public enemy number one, pops his smoke screen. Unfortunately for the Delny, he popped that smoke screen within 12 kilometers of the JB guys Petro, so smoke's not actually helping him out any. The good news for the Delny, as the JB guy eats, well, a largely ineffective airstrike from the enemy Golden Lion, although there is another one coming in, is that while the Petro's radar has long range, it doesn't have long duration. But the further bad news for the Delny is that he's within 10 kilometers of the Des Moines on the team as well, so <laughs> it might be a good idea for you to get out of there. He's starting to suffer now. It's like people have finally realized, oh look, a destroyer. Perhaps we should shoot it. JB guy pops his hydro just in case. I mean, you know, destroyers have been spotted. I am amazed that that Delny has not died. Although then again, you know, it's kind of tough by destroyer standards. It's Russian after all. And the amount of ricochets that the JB guy has been unfortunate enough to score against that Delny with these 220 millimeter guns is getting kind of ridiculous. Anyway, the Delny gets away with it. Although the enemy Harugamo does not, torpedoed and sunk by the U-2501. First blood to the JB guy's team, and if you have a look at the top of the screen, you will see that the progress of the two airships is neck and neck. Both airships are travelling at 18 knots, and both have roughly seven and a half minutes to go to reach the exit point. Oh, enemy carrier spotted. The Hakuryu. We're definitely shooting at that. And speaking of carriers, the enemy team have just inflicted their first casualty. Actually, they've just inflicted their second casualty, but the first casualty was scored by the Delaware, taking out the friendly Kansas uh, just a couple of seconds before the friendly Des Moines also went down. The Delaware, of course, a hybrid, because of course the enemy team have two carriers. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be fair otherwise, would it? <laughs> oh, some good hits there on the Hakuryu. 7.9% uh, extra damage on the 220mm armor-piercing shells fired by the Petra Pavlos with that legendary mod. They're also more accurate. The Hakuryu, not enjoying being spotted. Speaking of tough ships, 
because this kind of game mode really does promote the use of good brawlers, the Bismarck. Now let's not get too excited, it is a Bismarck. You're never going to Citadel it, even if it is showing you a broadside. But that doesn't mean you can't do large amounts of armor piercing, chunk damage to it. You just have to watch out for its secondaries. Secondaries which just inflicted a double fire on the JB guy, which forced him to use the damage control there. Looks like the Bismarck was on fire there as well, but now that he's in cover behind the island, he's also popped his damage control. And the secondaries no longer have anything to shoot at. Now there's a lot of enemy ships around the corner of that island. JB guy thinks he might have another shot against the Hakuryu. Um, I don't know. It turns out he didn't, but at the time he didn't really have anything else to shoot at. Except for now the Bismarck has just pulled a U-turn. The enemy Delaware takes out the friendly Congress. And the Hakuryu is finished off by the friendly Midway. So, both teams are now down to one carrier. <laughs> I suppose that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, one team started with two, that hardly seems fair, but at least we're all on an even playing field now. Uh, the Bismarck appears to realise that he's bitten off a little bit more than he can chew. Still giving broadside, still never going to sit the Dell and he's a Bismarck, but that doesn't mean you can't inflict large amounts of damage with large calibre armour piercing. Or some damage with large calibre armour. Oh shit! That's an extremely brave submarine. We can only hope that he's too close for his torpedoes to arm. He is not too close for his torpedoes to arm. Well, we could have done without that. You'd think that at that kind of range, it would be impossible to miss him with depth charge attack planes. You'd think that. <laughs> and while he didn't exactly miss him, he didn't exactly sink him either. There he is, the sneaky little bugger. Depth charges out again. Got to kill him this time. Need to save the guns for the Bismarck. Bismarck doesn't really appear to be able to make his mind up. First he's heading one way, then he's heading the other way, now he's heading the one way again. There goes the submarine. Took a lot of damage from that sneaky little bugger that I'm sure he'd rather not have. And we finish off the Bismarck before going around that corner. Oh, the team have just lost the submarine. They're actually behind by one kill. And the enemy airship is starting to sneak ahead. That Bismarck really needs to die. JB guy's lost a gun turret. He's going to pop the heel. He's still not interested in going around that corner until the Bismarck's been dealt with and the Tromp finishes him off. Right, well, this is it. Chicks dig scars and glory lasts forever. We're now in brawling country. If you look at the map, you'll see that, well, the enemy airship is sneaking ahead, but this is the point where the paths of the two airships draw perilously close together. There's the Delm. Right, you little, oh shit, Delny torpedoes. This Delny is living a charmed life. 183 health remaining, should be an easy kill, somehow manages to survive. He's gotten into cover, shots out against the hipper, again, should be an easy kill, somehow manages to survive. JB guy does dodge the Delny's torpedoes, and then, oh baby, <laughs> a battle cruiser. Given broadside at point blank range with its guns all pointing the other way. Oh, it does have torpedoes though, because you know it's a battle cruiser. But this is fine, speed up, we should be able to dodge them. Finish him off before he can get the gun turret swung around. Fantastic. Those would be the hipper torpedoes. Didn't have the range, managed to avoid everything. Incomparable now decorating the bottom of the ocean, his second kill. But the enemy team are sneaking even further ahead. They've managed to maintain a speed of 18 knots on their airship. And the JB guy's airship is crawling along at 12. So you really need to sink the ships that are driving that airship along. Hopefully, without dying in the process. Ooh, some citadels on the Smolensk. Hang on, are you allowed to citadel a Smolensk with armor-piercing shells? <laughs> I didn't think that was allowed. It turns out there is an exception to the rule, though. You just have to be in a Russian ship yourself, as he uh, sends the Delny to the Gulag. Can he follow it up with a kill on the Smolensk? If he's quick, he can get a double strike here before the Smolensk gets into cover. Shots out. There's the double strike. Oh, shit. Enemy submarine. Didn't kill the Smolensk quickly enough to get a double strike. But there's the hipper, and he's not going to get away with this twice. And there's the double strike. Takes another airstrike from the Golden Lion. Dodges the torpedoes. Looking for that submarine. And the submarines close the distance. Hang on a second. He can't have torpedoes ready to go again. What's the submarine up to? The submarine is going for the ram. 
JB guy survives, the submarine does not. There's the Die Hard award. Oh, and there's the Delaware. Shots out. Come on. And there's another double strike. <laughs> With the submarine reducing him to less than 10% health, the Russian Special Commander's ability kicks in, triggers an emergency heal, which is good because he's got no actual heals left. The enemy airship has now been reduced to 12 knots. He needs to get back inside that airship circle to get the friendly airship going back up to 18 knots because the enemy airship is almost there. Almost 30 seconds to go before the enemy airship makes it. They need to slow it down and give their airship a chance to catch up. Shots out at the Worcester. Potential kill here, broadside light cruiser. Nope, kill denied. Shots out at the Golden Line. Potential kill here as well, broadside cruiser. Come on, baby. Yes, there's kill number eight. Just the Worcester left and the enemy airship is nearly there, but the Worcester, because he's not bloody stupid, knows what's good for him. He's digging in behind that island like a tick on a dog's back. He is not. No. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Eight kills. <laughs> Eight kills. Victory denied by the Worcester, who knew what was good for him and wasn't trying to win any harder than he needed to. Man, that's got to suck. 217,000 damage, 8 kills, Confederate, die hard for surviving the RAM, not one but two double strikes, Dreadnought, Kraken Unleashed, and High Caliber. And it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fake laughing, only the tears are real. JB guy, I really think you need to take the hint and go and play Hello Kitty online or something for the rest of the day because you're not having any luck in World of Warships. Anyway, commiserations, and I hope you all enjoyed it because that's it for today. As always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.